to give a perfect blowjob. How to give the perfect blowjob? Just suck your dick like, well, not your dick, but. <laughs> well, I'm still learning the perfect blowjob. I have worked with girls who are um, deep throat queens, as they describe. Go watch my deep throat video, and that is all you need to know. That's my thing. Blowjobs are my thing. I have been learning as I go. I actually have a small jaw, so it took me a while. I actually did a lot of research when I was getting started. I don't think there's such a thing as a perfect blowjob, but you give a really good one. I'm not very good with telling how. I could show you how. I don't want to be like, oh, I give a perfect blowjob, because I don't know, I, it's different for all guys, and it's, different for all girls. I feel like everybody's different and that's a thing that maybe you should think about when you're giving blowjobs. Totally depends on the guy and the penis. Some guys really love their head being played with the most and if you don't play with their head enough, they'll literally go soft. Do some stuff with your mouth and your throat and, and react to how they're reacting to it. If they like it, if they don't like it, if they don't make a sound, if they do respond to that. Feel, you gotta feel that shit out. You gotta, it's it's just like a guy going down on a girl. You know, you're never gonna know unless you really listen and kind of feel the person out and, and, and hear for what sounds good or what feels good or what you think does. First, you cannot be afraid of the dick. I had thrown up on dick before. I don't like to do that, but um, I do like to push my limits. A lot of eye contact. Totally a lot of eye contact. You wanna kiss the, like, the tip and then you wanna lick it up and down first, you know, to give it a little bit of a tease. The cute little like licks and stuff, like I really like to work my way into it. So it's it's all about like those first initial little like tip licks, you know, or you know, you know, kind of rimming around. First I would like grab the dick and I would like lick it from like the base to like the head. I like to use my tongue like I can do different little shapes with my tongue and I flick it around and I do different things. Lick up on it. And then you can spin your tongue like around the head. You have to work it slow. You wanna just like suck on the tip for a little bit. And then just like really working your way into it, into like the suck. You suck the person's dick like you would if you were sucking a popsicle or a sucker. Put your mouth on it and you just kinda go, I keep my tongue over my bottom teeth and my top lip over my top teeth usually. Definitely don't use teeth. Don't use it down there unless they want it. You gotta make sure you don't hit a dick with teeth unless they're okay with that because they will literally tell their friends this girl sucks at blowjobs because she uses her teeth too much. I like to tease a lot too so like I'll like I like to like really get the guy worked up and then pull back and like let that spit. I'm really sloppy. I love sloppy blowjobs. Like I like love sloppy sloppy sloppy. Love a lot of spit. Lots of spit. That's really good getting the dick really wet. And I like to use a lot of spit. You don't want to chafe their dick. You gotta spit on it. But you always want to use like a lot of spit. So I get all the good spit. I spit a lot. I would just build up spit. Spit all over your cock. They hydrate it. Drink a lot of water because that's when, you know, I get, I hate sucking dick with a uh, dry throat. So I drink a lot of water and one of the things I do a lot is with my stringy spit is um, I drink lemonade before. I have something sugary and it gives that sugar so it gives that thick stringy um, spit that I love to play with. I like to produce a lot of spit. I like to really, you know, get the gagging in. I like personally the cock between my tits so that way I can go like this and I'm still stroking your cock and still sucking your cock. You want to add a little bit of a hand motion. You definitely have to fucking use your hands because I remember before porn I thought it was lame. I'd be like, why is that bitch using her hands? Like, shove it all in your mouth. But it feels so much better if you like, you know, do the whole this. Definitely big on grabbing at the base. You have to get a, like a good grip on it, I think, cause like you have to think when guys are like jerking off, some of them are like beating it off, choking the fuck out of it. So get like a good grip on it. Usually you'd start to get the guy hard and you know, he likes a, a nice, you can do like the pineapple dicer or pineapple skewer. Movement, movement. Use two hands, use one hand, stroke up and down. Rhythmically, sometimes just with your hands because 
If you go with your mouth and your hands for too long, they're likely to come really fast. A circular kind of motion. So get a lot of spit, and then I like to use like both hands like that, and just like up and down, up and down. <laughs> if you can use your hands and your mouth at the same time. But I like to use both hands, presuming it's big enough to do that, and do the, the mouth and the hands up and down. Best blow job is with two hands and your mouth on the head. Over. <laughs> Hand on the shaft, doing stuff, and then like mouth on top. And then you can like do hand on top and go to the middle, and then two hands up top and suck on the balls and asshole and stuff. Put like both hands on the cock while you're just sucking the tip. You have to pay attention to the tip of the dick and like the backside of the tip of the dick, like, because we're like, that's kind of where, like, I feel like the male clit is. Also, sometimes no hands is fun, like the face fucking. Again, different strokes, different folks. And then I would, like, definitely just, like, spit on it and then start deep throating it. Start to, like, intensify it by, like, speeding up and then, like, go in the fight for a deep throat. A perfect blowjob. You need to have a bottomless pit for a throat. I like to deep throat. I love deep throating and getting throat fucked. And you want to start massaging your throat back here. You have to gag. For, you have to start. You have to gag to get spit to lube up your throat. And once you gag up some spit on the cock, you can then start working it back into your throat and you can relax your throat if you want to. You can relax your throat to the point to where you can actually fit, you know, the full size thing back there. If it's pretty thick, um, you're gonna need to take some more time to massage that. And the way that you do that is you stick it as far back to your throat as you can. Once you have spit and lubed up the entire cock with your throat, you relax everything and you start um, like, on it, you know, massaging it. And then slowly you can push it further and further and you can sort of relax your jaw and your muscles in a way that you can deep throat it. It takes a while to do um, and you have to, you know, you have to want to do it. When you go down, this is the biggest thing because a lot of girls have um, the gag reflex. So when you go down and you want to open the back of your throat, you have to kind of take a breath and then it opens the back of your throat. There is deep throat spray to numb the back of that. I say you open your mouth, you take a deep breath before it opens the back of your throat and then you can get in. So you gotta make sure that you fucking get the dick all the way down your throat, like, huh. And so your eyes start to water too. Like, I'll start tearing up and like all of all this slobber, like I need a fucking bib. A lot of times I have my hand there because I can only go so far. I'm not deep throat queen. I try, I try. I did a, um, a, a shoot that was, that was a big part of the shoot was those extreme blowjobs and the gagging where it's here. But I did kind of like have a little accident where it did hit my gag reflex. And get their balls too. Who neglects balls? And then you wanna tickle the balls a little bit. Don't ever forget the balls, unless the guy's balls are ticklish, in which case they may go soft instantly. I definitely touch the balls. I'm super careful because some guys think it's either a hit or miss. Guys either like their balls like lightly scratched with my nails or else they like totally don't like that. So I'll like start touching the balls and like kind of feel for the, rea like, the reaction. And then other than that, I'll definitely like lick the balls. Unless they're like super, super hairy, then I'm not about to lick the balls. If you can fit the balls in your mouth too, I would suggest that you do that. <laughs> By always, always, always juggling the balls. Never let go of those balls. I put the balls like between my fingers. So they're like this, so I can kind of do stuff to them like that. Or I'll have my fingers rubbing the perineum and the asshole and then massaging the balls with my thumb and these fingers. If you're clean and you have a shaved asshole, I'll give you a rim job if you like that. Some guys do, some guys don't. And if it's okay, maybe slip a little finger up in their butthole, but just look up into their eyes while you do it and see if it's a go. Cause some of them, if they're like, Ugh, then don't do it. But if they're like, Ugh, then just do it. <laughs> so yeah. I like to grab the balls um, towards the end of the blow job and put my thumb on their taint uh, and apply pressure around the top. So say the dick is here, or the, 
the dick is here, balls are down here, this is the taint, and this area is the pelvic bone right above your penis. You put pressure above the penis and on the taint, and you can jerk off or hold the balls with this hand and suck at the same time, and it brings all the blood to that area and creates a lot more sensitivity, and they have mind-blowing orgasm.